All right, well, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. The, this is my closet. Look, it's the messiest closet on earth, okay? And this like little shelf of vape gear back here would just, it would kind of take way too long to explain. I store all of my stuff in like the dumbest worst way possible. There's multiple holding areas for things that are kind of going through the process. This stop right here in the closet for vape gear is kind of the last stop before it all ends up in the cabinet. And once it goes into the cabinet, it's kind of like, all right, not necessarily like retired, but like you're, I'm good with those for now. I don't actively use stuff in the cabinet, but I do actively use stuff from over here. I keep some mods that like I'm regularly using. My TVL5 ring is over here. My broadside is, is stored in here. That arc, I just get it out every once in a while to use it. Yeah, I store it in here. There's a whole mess of really disorganized toppers, including some, some tanks and, falling boxes. It's a mess, it's a mess, but I'm looking for something today. It's in here somewhere. Ah, this. Ardent Dreamer combo. Enough is enough is enough. I just wanna vape this. So pff, I guess I'll tell you the whole story. I got this Ardent Dreamer combo, which it's not a combo. The Ardent is sold separately from the Dreamer, but the Ardent also has hybrid threading onto the Dreamer, which this is how I want to use it. So we'll talk about that later when we're building it. But I got this in the mail uh, in a vlog a few weeks ago, and I remember getting it and being stoked. I wanted to set it up in the vlog, but decided against it, but it was sitting on my desk for a very long time. And I just kept looking at it like, I got to get to that. I'm going to get to that. I, I, I want to build that. I want to get to that. And then it kind of moved off my desk and went on to the other shelf where mods go to just be abandoned and forgotten. And still, I saw it over there on that other shelf looking at it going, damn it, the Ardent, damn it, the Ardent. And then I got the bright idea at NVE that I would just take the Ardent with me. I talked about this in that unpacking video I did from NVE. I was like, oh, I'll take the Ardent with me. I'll find some time to build it with Stan and we'll put it on video and it'll, it'll just be so great. And then that never happened. And now the Ardent ended up in the closet. That's not an okay place for the Ardent to be, in my opinion. I'm dying to build this. I'm dying to vape it. I, I like Stan and I like most of the products he's done, but I have some pretty high expectations for this Ardent because I've heard some really good things. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pop back over to the desk. We're gonna build this. We're gonna vape this. Finally, it is Ardent time. So right now my Ardent is hybridized to the top of my Dreamer mech. Both of these products, the mech and the Ardent, come from Stan, Tenacious TX Vape, so it kind of makes sense that he would have these be hybrid together, which I love, I love that idea, but let's talk about the actual atomizer. You can see it's got that thick threading that goes down right into the threads of the mech mod. But if you don't have a Dreamer mech mod to hybrid this to, it can be a regular 510 atomizer. And this is the base you're going to use and this is the pin you're going to use pin and this is how it comes stock it comes with your 510 connection already attached perfectly to go on to like any mod it screws on like that and then you take your contact pin and you screw that down in there as well and once you do that you got a regular you know 510 pin arden oh and there's a non ultem drip tip fantastic and it does also come with uh some loosely packed items there's some extra screws i'm assuming for the deck there's an extra pin that looks like a oh that is a non-squonk pin okay so no squonk pin all right well no squonk pin but extra o-rings extra springs extra screws extra standard 510 pin and you know tiny blue screwdriver but i'm gonna put this back in hybrid mode by first things first let's take out that 510 pin then once that is out you can just screw off this bottom right here and then boosh here there's your threading there's your hybrid threading so this is the deck i was a little curious about this deck it's like a two post deck but as you can see on the inside there's like little arches cut in 
end there, like into the clamps. There's clamps that come down into kind of an arch. And you kind of have that, uh, you know, upside down reverse recoil snake bite airflow, which it's whatever, dude. It's rad airflow. Everybody should be using it. And then you have some flathead screws on top and a very, very deep juice well. That is a fairly deep juice well in there. All right. Anyway, let's build it. I got, uh, I got all my tools here that I think I'm going to need. I've got some cotton bacon freaking prime. I also got some coils here from Swamp Tech. Coils by Swamp Booty. I'm assuming he's over there on the Instagram. I just picked these because I thought they'd be a good fit for the Arden. Tricore Fuse Clapton's should come out to a 0.15 on a dual coil. Boom. Perfect. That's a mech build, man. So before we get to building it, I just want to show you, yeah, I unscrewed those two screws and then that hole kind of opens. That little archway hole opens. And then if you look at the side, you can kind of see, yeah, they're spring-loaded too. There's a little spring right there. In fact, if I press this down a little bit, we can see this like spring loady action happening. Hoping that those holes are gonna be big enough for these coils. With such a large atomizer, it's 27 millimeters, and with such big posts in there, I'm, I'm honestly just a little bit shocked that the post holes are that small. And I can't open it up any further because I feel like those screws are just gonna fall out. All right, well, I kind of stand corrected. The screws didn't fall out, and you can kind of make it, dang, like a fairly big opening. So like I said, I'm just gonna be building this right now. I'm not gonna go over every step as it happens, but let's do this thing. It has been wicked, it has been juiced, and eventually vapors. Ah, I can't say juiced anymore. Oh well, let the past die. Kill it if you have to. I had a few weird struggles building it, which I want to talk about in a second, but right now I want to put this top cap on, and I want to get back out to normal view, and finally, come on, let's just vape it. So kind of like how I did the Zeus X, I built it about, about, it's been about an hour. It's been about an hour and some change, like an hour and five minutes. I've just been sitting here answering emails, doing my thing, vaping on this Ardent Dreamer Mech combo. And it's been, it's been good. It's been mostly enjoyable. I found that I like the airflow on this Ardent turned way, way down. Full open, the airflow is just huge. It's just huge and cloud chasey. Huge and very smooth, but huge and cloud chasey nonetheless. And the flavor, as far as I can tell, is is just fine. I am vaping some of the Bloody Ripper from Bogan's Brews. Had this juice once in the past. Tastes exactly as I remember it. The Arden RDA is 100% Blair your juice friendly because of that big deck, because of those big like blocks going through the center of it. You can just ju just bleh, just bleh like crazy. And it's great. It's a great vape. What I like to do with the airflow is turn it down to just like the last set of four holes. So you have three holes on the deck that are your airflow. And then you have a group of holes, two, four, six, eight, ten holes on the outside. And that's how you adjust your airflow. And I like to put this cap on and turn the airflow down so it's just the last four of the ten holes. And to me, that's that's absolutely perfect. It honestly feels, now don't take offense to this, Stan, it honestly feels a lot like the original recipe recoil RDA. When I do that, when I close this down to those last four, like the velocity, the density of it, the smoothness of it, that's just what it reminds me of, which is to say, it's rad. Yeah, that's banging. That was super banging. Okay, sorry to butt back in here like this, but after spending a little bit more time with the Arden, it's pretty clear that this is a this is a series atomizer. 27 millimeters, huge wide post holes. Yeah, it's for a series. It's for 
stacking your dreamers, which you can do, and then hybriding this to the top of it, it it's a series RDA. Obviously, I didn't build for series on this. It's a 0.15 on a single tube Mac, but it still works really great. I just wanted to clarify that, yeah, you can use it however you want, but I have the feeling that Stan designed it to be a series atomizer. So get back back to whatever I was doing before. So I'm getting a rad vape from it. Um, the build experience wasn't seamless. It was a little bit weird. The arches do open up more than enough to get whatever coils you need in there. The problem is the blocks that the arches sit on are so wide that these coils with the leads that, uh, what was this fellow's name? Swamp Booty. <laughs> with the leads that Swamp Booty left on his coils, it was just barely enough to get through to the other side. It's thick, it's just so thick in there. Additionally, because of those arches and because how far apart those holes are in those arches, it instantly turned this coil into a spaced coil. I had no control over it. Even with a tool in there, screwing down all of those screws to like secure your leads in there, it just spread out my coils. So here's where I'm gonna leave this. I'm having a great time with the Arden. This is a this is a fantastic vape. It's certainly not super revolutionary. It's certainly not the greatest atomizer I've ever used, but right now with these fused Claptons in here, it's awesome. I'm having a great vape and I love, I, I love blowing my juice. If you're an atomizer that can blay your juice, you, you instantly just get ultimate bleh points from me. Oh, I said juice so many times. And I do really like that Stan kind of stuck to his guns on this. He calls it a dripping atomizer. It's a dripper. You know what? I just, I gotta respect that. So getting down to brass tacks, as it were, you gonna need your vape budget hands if you want the Arden? Eh, not really. 40 bucks, right? That's not vape budget hands really. I mean, it's not cheap enough just to buy it, just to try it, but it's not overly expensive atomizer. If we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all my vape Gear? Is this something I'm gonna I'm gonna run out and buy right away? I mean, probably not. <gasps> it's leaking. I take back everything I said. Now that was a 100% my fault. I overdripped it and then put it on its side. So user error there. But I was gonna say probably not. Like it's a fine RDA, and if you have the spectacular Dreamer mech mod and you want an RDA that's gonna hybrid thread down onto it, boom, there's your option, it's the Ardent. It's the Ardent and you know, like a lot of vape gear that's kinda out right now or has been coming out for the last few years, it's fine. It's a, it's a great RDA that, that's gonna vape. Add the Ardent to the growing list of RDAs that are great and will vape for you. But that restricted lung hit, when I turn that airflow down, that is that is just delightful. Anyway, uh, that's enough yammering from me. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but they are available on tenaciousTXVapes.com. But anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping.